in the parking lot. <laughs> praise Him. It's always a good opportunity to praise the Lord. We want to welcome you to our communion service. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. Yes, we are. We're going to have some fun giving praise to the Lord. Even though it's, we're in the midst of a pandemic, we are still going to enjoy the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is worthy of our praise. announcements this morning, so we're just going to get right to it. Our opening scripture and opening prayer will be done by our very young good brother, Robert Master. Good morning, Salome, friends. It's a good day to worship the Lord. scripture this morning comes from Psalm 149. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let all rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises to him with the cymbal and the harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and the two edged sword be in their hand. And thank God for the reading of his word. And Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Father to thank you for just being able to come out and worship together. We give you praises, O oh God, because you are the giver of our grace and our mercy. During this time of virus, pandemic, death, and sickness, we know that you are still there and we are in your hands, Father. And we give all thanks to you, Father. And we ask that you send your Holy Spirit to embolden us, to encourage us, to continue to worship in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! We ask, Father, that this day just be a symbol of what we do all during the week that reminds us that you are here with us now and forever. And so we ask that in the name of your son, Jesus, that you have us look to you, Father, that not look to ourselves. We ask, Father, that you give us the strength, the courage, to continue to go forward to worship you, whether it be inside, outside, in our homes, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever it may be, Father, that the whole world can know that you are the king of all, that all of this is still in your hands. So we have no fear, Father, because we know that we are the children of God, and we worship and praise you. So now, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we ask that you bless this service and let us all enjoy and worship in the comfort of this building and this parking lot. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. He is our strong tower. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is our strong tower yes, in the midst of this pandemic. Hallelujah. And you're all evidence of that because you're all here.
Black Flag Ministry is going to worship the Lord in song and flagging and dancing. It's a blessing to be able to do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not just one way to praise the Lord. While we can say hallelujah, we can shout, we can also dance before the Lord. So we're going to put on our garment of praise this morning, and we want everybody to join in. Hallelujah.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. If we had to welcome you. Yeah, we did all that, Pastor. It's on you right now. It's you. The sermon time. You the up. preaching time. It's you up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's preaching time. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Anybody hungry today? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. y'all don't sound yes. hungry today. Yes. Anybody hungry today? Yes, Lord. There is a word from the Lord, I believe. And I invite you to turn with me to one of my favorite chapters in the Bible, Psalm 100. Psalm 100. King James Version again, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We're going to read today from the NIV translation. Do you have it? Say amen. 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 All right. Listen to God's word. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. Yes, God. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Yes, God. If you believe that, say amen. Amen. I want to use this passage this morning to speak on the subject, giving credit where credit is is due. Amen. Giving credit where credit is due. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank and praise you for this preaching moment. We ask you, O oh God, to come forth and to move in us and among us that we may draw closer to the one who has made our lives so much better. We pray, O oh Heavenly Father, something will be said or done. That if someone's here today does not know you or who is not sure if they know you, we pray that you will touch them in a special way, that they will give their life to you. And then, Father, we pray for those who know you but need just some energy to make it through another week. We pray, God, that something will be said or done that will light their fire, lift their burdens, and let them know that you walk with them every step of the way. Silently now we wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open our ears, our hearts, our minds, our souls, and our spirits, and illumine them. Spirit divine. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Giving credit where credit is due. If there ever was a song worth memorizing, it is Psalm 100. This is not to say that the others are not praiseworthy or that the others do not draw our attention. But for me, there's something special about this psalm and these verses. First of all, it acknowledges that the Lord is good. Tap somebody on the shoulder, on the, on the knob of their elbow, tell them, God is good. <laughs> I can see that I get used to all this. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Now, some may take for granted the goodness of God, but I have learned from observation that everything does not understand how God supplies the good things in their lives. Instead of giving credit to God, some credit the sun God, or they credit the sun rising as being simply a natural phenomenon. They call it science. Instead of giving credit to God for missing an accident 
uh, they call it chance or good luck or good fortune. How many of you know that there's no such thing as luck? Amen. There's only the blessing and the mercy of God. Yes, sir. Yes. Tell somebody, so tell somebody, the mercy of God is on me. That's right. The mercy of God is on me. Many of us would be dead long time ago. Ooh, but I because of the mercy yes, of God indeed. and the grace of God, mm. we're here and we can say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We can praise his name. Come thank on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give God some praise. Yes, Lord. So if good things are happening in your life, and no matter what you may think or how difficult they may be, God is still blessing you because there are things that could be worse going on in your life. But instead of getting mad with God for not giving you what you want, amen, Walsh. Amen. God blesses us up and down, but just because he didn't give us a new car this year, we upset. <laughs> Come on here. But you better learn to praise God for what he has already provided. Amen. Am Amen. I right about that? Yes, you are. Uh, don't even be stingy about praising our God, for he is worthy of the praise. Yeah. And when you get God, well, okay, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Instead of being able to say hallelujah, hallelujah, praise your name. Praise your name. There's a difference, isn't there, brothers and sisters? Yes, indeed. Every minute of God. So good, and even when man, our God is worthy of the praise. Brother, why you say we ought to praise God when things go bad? You still alive, ain't you? Amen. Amen. Come on here. But if you believe it, if you truly believe God deserves praise 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year, why don't you raise your right hand with me and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In this 100th song, we are told the price, the Lord, and we are told, we're told to praise the Lord and we are to have from him. Verse 5 says, the Lord is good. How many can testify that the Lord is truly good? Yes, Lord. Amen. The old folks used to say, he has been to me. Mm -hmm. Then I've been, I've been to, to myself. myself. You remember that? Yes, I do. And I'm witness, my friends, that that's true. Yes, indeed. In fact, I like the way Paul puts it when he says, he does exceedingly and abundantly beyond anything we could ever ask or think. What do you say? He blesses us more than what we ask for. Yes, Lord. Have I got a witness here? Yes, Lord. Some of us say, Lord, just let me make it one more day. And he let you live another 25, 35, and 40 years. That's the kind of God we serve. Yes, Lord. Oh, y'all don't believe me. Okay? If you believe it, say amen. Amen. He is God. God is in the blessing business. Our God is in the saving business. Our God is in the restoring business. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. You can be a child of God and slip away, but the devil will tell you, I got you forever, but I got news for you. My Bible still says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to what? Forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, you may have messed up, but my God is with him. You can make up. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But the truth of the matter is that often we get so caught up in enjoying the blessings that we forget to take the time to thank the blessing. Yes, indeed. My message this morning is that we must give credit where credit is due. Yeah. If you do something nice for somebody and thank you, shouldn't we do the same to the King of Kings Amen. and Amen. the Lord of Lords yes, Lord. who moves mountains of difficulty out of our way and who puts the blessing, puts us on Blessing Boulevard. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. When you get up in the morning, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When you sit down to eat a meal, yes, thank God. you, Jesus. Thank you. When you drive safely to work or to the store, 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And oh, by the way, when you get on your job, thank you, Jesus, because somebody's out of work today. Yes, somebody's looking for a job today. And I got a job today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you are too busy to give him some thanks. You're too sophisticated to drop your dignified self and give God some unto holy praise. Child of God, you are living on dangerous grounds. Because what the Lord gives, he can take it away. Because our master, master can take it away. Things, my brothers and sisters, are not forever. But watch this, watch this. God is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, my message this morning, saints of God, is to not take God's blessings for granted. If the Lord has blessed you, thank you. If the Lord has healed you, thank you. If the Lord has watched your family and you ought to thank him. If, if, if the Lord has given you good health, you didn't have, he didn't have to do it, but he did. So you ought to what? You ought to thank him. You ought to praise him. You ought to worship him. You ought to glorify him. You ought to tell somebody he's worthy of the praise. You ought to tell somebody the Lord bless you coming and he bless you going and he can bless you too if you only give your life and your heart to him. Well, Pastor, you didn't you don't understand. I've got some trouble in my life. I got some challenges going on. I, I've got some problems I can't handle that are holding me down. And when I have time, when, when I have money, uh, when my spirit is ready, I'll give God some thanks. <laughs> no, no, sister. No, no, brother. It doesn't work like that. And you wouldn't want somebody pouting about what you don't, they don't have instead of thanking you for what you have done in their lives. But sometimes we do treat God less than we treat ourselves. Amen. Man of God, give him some praise right now. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Come on, brothers. Hallelujah. Where are my brothers at? Brothers, Hallelujah. give him some praise. Yes, Lord. Women of God, yes, give him Lord. some praise. Yes, Hallelujah. Where are my children at? Where are my children at? Children of God, wave your hands and give him some praise. I like the way the psalmist wrote it. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. This morning, I want to challenge all of us to be more intentional in our praise and more intentional in our thanks. There is an old song we used to sing at Lincoln. He didn't have to do it. But he, but did. he did. But he, he did. didn't have to do it. But he did. But he did. He, he, he woke did. me up this morning. Started me. On my way. On my way. But he didn't have to do it. But he did. But he did. Oh, come on, saints. Let's give God some praise. Praise him because he didn't have to do it. Praise him because he blessed us this month. Praise him because he's given his uh, help a helping hand. Praise him because we got feet to walk in. Praise him because we have a testimony. How I got over, how I got over. My soul looks back and wonder how I got over. So I don't, don't let the birds out praise you. Don't let other people out praise you. Don't even let the drug addict out praise you. We ought to give God some praise today. Here we are outside. Many of us wish we were inside. But here we are right in the sunshine. Here we are, the skies are blue. Here we are, we're sitting in chairs. Tell me God ain't good. God is good. God is good. Because I get ready to close out. I just want to tell you, say, praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him all day long. Praise him because he's worthy of the praise. So I know, let's give God the credit he deserves. Let's give him the glory and the honor he deserves. Let's give ourselves the satisfaction of knowing that we honor the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And can't nobody do me like 
So let's praise God like we mean it. Let's praise God every day of our lives. Yes, Lord. Let's praise God even when people see us and think, what you doing? Don't worry, I'm praising the Lord. Because the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you and we praise you. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. Because you've been a mighty, 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 mighty good God to us. Now bless us, Lord, to walk in the confidence of your blessings, realizing the blessings of this moment are but the beginnings of the blessings to come. In Jesus' name we pray.
and we shall we shall begin with a period of silent prayer. Just bow your head silently. Let's prepare our hearts, our minds, our spirits to receive this holy anointed offering from God. Holy.
one been served? Did I hear a no? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's been served. Okay. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Once again, Father God, we ask that you come into our midst as we prepare to enter into the holy of holies of our communities. We pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you would put aside all of the cares, concerns, that you would cleanse us of all of our sins and wrongdoings and wrong speech, that you will make us, O oh God, holy instruments of you to be used to share this gospel and to take it around the world. We love you. We praise you, O oh God, for your great sacrifice on our behalf. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. For I deliver unto you that which was delivered unto me. That on the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took bread. After having given thanks, he broke it. He said, this is my body, which is given for you. Let us eat together. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, let the people of God say amen. Amen. Like manner, he took also the cup, threw back the shield. He said, this is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. Let the body of Christ say amen. amen. Let the body of Christ say amen. amen. Let the body of Christ say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for his great sacrifice on our behalf. I believe we're to have our offering this
some time in prayer with God because he is worthy of the praise. Amen. Amen. We pray that you'll be with us next week and bring somebody with you. Amen. 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 Uh, listen. So let's bow our heads for the benediction. Father, we thank and praise you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and our hearts have heard. We thank you for your presence among us and in us. We ask that you will walk with us every step of the way as we seek to be lights in a dark world. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest. Amen. 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 Come on, you can do better than that. Amen.